Tazzle. Hi, Toast. Yeah. Um, first start. No assholes. No things to try and bite me. The only violence is mine. Apparently numbing on some fruit toast. Not dead toast, fruit toast. Hmm. Hmm. Still not really set up enough at my um my ad screen. I'm still not really set up enough at my new place to do mass food production. I have oh. cinnamon raisin toast with butter. And this one's got a ginger preserve on it, like a ginger marmalade. Hi, Luna. Yeah, it's just, I don't, it's, it's literally just a ginger jelly. That's really fucking good. So I'm, this is, this is my lunch. I am severely lacking in bandwidth for today, so I'm like, I need something comfy. So. Can't get much more comfy than Vintage Story for me. Also, we made some decisions about anniversary week. As, as much as I admire the uh va -va -voom of the college students who worked on the anniversary week project for the the capstone course i can't do seven days and a 24 hour stream not do it and be healthy this week's been a mess oh, yeah. so instead I'm going to do the usual Wednesday to Sunday <clears throat> for the week between the 14th and the 21st. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, it'll be Saturday night to Sunday night will be the 24 hour stream. And that way I can end on a Sunday night and still have Monday, Tuesday to recover. And that's enough time for us to get up to silly bullshit. And I wasn't sure what content, like what to do. 
I wanted to revisit some games that we've enjoyed together. But a lot of them have got... I don't know, a lot of them have a, I have a weird feeling about. So I think we're going to focus just on like Vintage Story and maybe Trucks and some other driving games. Um, and there's probably going to be a big bother stream in there if the uh, point redemptions are filled up. The goal is met. So, so. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Um, so Ali suggested, which I thought was pretty good, that um, we put together so, like so. a wheel, a wheel spin of like different building themes, and we can like spin a wheel. And so I just have to build shit. And we all know that I enjoy just building shit. But thank you. Okay. And then, uh... You'll need to put together a roster to keep me company during a 24-hour stream. I don't know what I'm doing there. Um... um yeah. There was something else. But I don't know. Um, <laughs> may maybe? I don't have the spoons to manage that, but if, if, if you think that might be uh, something useful. I figured if I start, like last year, if I start at 7 p.m. Um, and finish at 7 p.m., it worked out really well because I was still kind of like awake at the end of it. But I was a bit like doolally. But it meant that when I finally went to bed, I slept solid and then woke up at a normal time. So it'd be like 7 p.m. Saturday to 7 p.m. Sunday with permission to end early, if need be. The sl the, it makes a difference. Because I remember driving with Flint to um, Whataburger at like 10 o'clock that night so he could make sure I ate something other than just like random junk food shit. So I don't think I ate much during that stream other than popcorn. And then as soon as I ate and I got home, I just like crashed. I woke up at nine o'clock in the morning and I was just fine. I was like, okay, scared. So yeah, that's that's the plan. I just realized I'm still in full screen mode. I haven't I I literally just like got out of the shower just before stream and just tied my hair up on a bun so it's still wet. It's uh 98 here. So that's pretty warm. <laughs> Lynn's mom bought me a pool. Um, one of those like round ones with the inflatable rim on it. And I know that we need like chemical treatment for it. So we really need to like go into a pool shop and just get advice uh, and make sure we do the do it the right way so it doesn't end up being a health issue or you know unpleasant in a lot of work but also the temptation to just like set the fucking thing up and just fill it up it's it's immense <laughs> with it especially with it being hot flint i was i was i wasn't sure if flint would be interested in in using it but he's like it'd be really nice after stream in summer to just like jump in there and cool off and get away from our computers and I was like you know that would be and backyard means we can just jump in Nike 
and not have to worry about all that bullshit. But yeah, a nice e a midnight swim in the backyard actually sounds really fucking good. And it's only like a 10 foot pool, so it's like less than a thousand gallons. So as long as I call the city about it, I think we should be fine for like that. All right, so I don't know what mods I need to turn anything on or off. I think basically everything is on. I don't think I need that. I have that. The auto map markers. I forgot about that one. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna start a single player game. Um. So no, no scary monsters. No aggression. Just. He's starving to death and building a mud hut, which, you know, we all en enjoy. Apparently I have hiccups now. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure I can remember the settings I need to. Oh, hey, I could do that. Why did I keep control of your camera while I'm talking? Okay, so we're gonna start with Homo sapiens. Um, we're going to make it warmer as a starting climate. Wait, how do I turn off? Hey, make a chili back. Uh, keep inventory. I want to be able to breathe for an hour underwater, please. Is that? Label that. I don't care. This is gentle game. Gentle game. Allow it. Yeah. Play I can withstand without. Oh, okay. Uh, passive. Never. Do we want passive or never host? I think passive. No, 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 that's that's uh, uh cow, totally so fine. Like, moo or whatever. Hi, Funky. Uh, what do you recommend? Toast? Hello, Punky friend. I have cinnamon raisin toast with a ginger preserve on it, and it's very delicious. It's like if someone took like <clears throat> Christmas ginger cake and turned it into jello, it's really warm and sweet and delicious. Perfect. Thank you, Toast. It's really good. It was one of the things that Flint got in my like little birthday stash of treats that I just hadn't got around to opening yet until just now.
That's really good on cinnamon raisin bread. Hmm. It is your birthday we him. The deadliest cow? Are you? What is what is the property of being deadly? Terrible jokes. It's on Friday. My calendar says it's on Friday. Honestly, Punky, that sounds amazing. Oh, Kiko just posted cute pictures of cats. Ginger cat. Okay, so I think that's what Whoa. we want to. Homo sapiens, but with law content. That means I get traitors in ruins, I believe. Temporal storms off. Temporal stability off. Rips off. Yeah, it's not. I'm not having a good one today. We are going through the motions and also throws problems on my bra. I I am pretending to be human today. <laughs> wow, quote bot. Way to call me out like that. Sometimes. Oh my god, I have like a raisin stuck between my teeth. Let me take. Oh god, that's so much better. Um, okay, we don't need the world to be. We don't need the world to be that big either, really. Um, we're just gonna keep everything as. Oh. Yeah. I guess. I need to make sure I've got ocean. Will they do it? I still, the phrasing on this is very confusing. So 80% land cover, 20% ocean. Well, 
Well, I mean, if we don't like it, we don't like it. Sorry, I'm just taking screenshots of the settings. I have a sneeze lurking. World C. What do we want for the world seed? All right, let's see what it spits out. I haven't played this since I got the new monitor. Um, is the music audible slash at okay levels? I can't tell. It almost looks like it's too quiet. I have started in the rain. These skin tones are just always so weird. And these snowsberries taste like snowsberries. Smooth. I think some of these are like cute. Oh no, that's really adorable. Oh, this color is called liver. That'll do. I think it really matters what I pick at this point.
you. Kind of cute. Oh no, that's the worst. That's why when I, I I see like a red starburst and I'm like, ooh, it'll be strawberry. No, that's pink. Red is cherry. Thank you. I don't even like cherries. I have spawned ah. under a tree. There's a trader right there, so that's good. You like cherry pies? Get one for actual cherries. I like the idea of it. There's just a, a sort of dry sort of tannic quality to cherries that overrides the sweetness for me same that um almonds have and you know chewing on a pencil I can hear bees. Yes, it does. Um, is the music audible at all, please? I feel like maybe it's not. Just bumped up a little bit. I've been struggling with that, um, the smell thing so much with Daisy right, lately. Been able to eat more stuff, yeah. It reminds me, I made a tomato onion jam the other day and it was really yummy. Wait, where is it? Is it right above me? Heck, how many bees are there in here? Do you hear how loud that is?
Give me the bumblebees. I can't remember. Yeah, I have to look at the mod list to try and remember what the uh, binding is to bring up this auto make marker. Control Shift M. I thought the game was being quiet, but it turned out it was just that the bees were. What the fuck? I'm sorry, what? It was this a sideways stability? I thought I turned that off. Yeah, we aren't, we can't, we're not, we're not having that. <laughs> we, we ain't doing that. Okay, is there... <sighs> is there a way to, that I can turn that off in game? without having to re re-roll, not that it matters. Um vintage story turn off soy Well can no there's team pro stability. Okay, I can see people bitching about it. Eh. At this point... Oh, okay, I'll give it a go. Um, you should still be able to post it. Oh no, that's fine. Did the block gravity behavior for either just sand? Restart, okay. Restart game world or server to play. But it looks like it, it took with the, uh, the message in the corner there. <sighs> Thank you, John. So no one answered about the music? Is it not loud enough? I hate that my hearing is so over off that 
everything just sounds loud to me. I think that fixed it. Oh, <gasps> chickens. You you might have planet crafter open. Why? I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I seem to be getting a frame rate kick up here. This frame rate's capped. Let's just try that. Okay, well, I mean, no one's complained about it. I'd rather it be too quiet than loud. I turned the game sound up like way up so that I could hear um hear the bees. <laughs> oh. And now I'm worried that I've turned it up too far for myself. Oh, oops. Don't mind if I do. Agriculture. Game sound is far too loud for me. Well, empty skips. All right. Hey, he buys some pretty good stuff here. Coronation bowls. Does he agriculture? Your clothing, building. So nice and green. All right. This could be a good space to hit towards. Berries, I have some turnips. More bees? Or is that the same ones? No, I can see them. I think? Yeah. Um, all right, I need them. What was the macros button? Yeah. 
Copper is in phase. Number three is phase. Okay. I feel like this is a good little spot to start with. Now I kind of want to open this up for someone else to join. But that doesn't work. I just realized I don't have any of my UI stuff up here. Hey, is that a... Uh, no, it's just a Yeah. Like, this is such a pretty starting location. Maybe, you know what, maybe? Let me just message Josh. And see if they're able to host vintage story servers. Look, there's amaranth right there. Amaranth and flax? I've just shot a message to Bluefang. Um, the other ones that provide our vintage story for free, or well, they host the vintage story server for us to see if they do vintage. Uh, sorry, uh, Project Zomboid. I'm so suspicious. I saw you mention that. I can't, I don't know if you mentioned it just like vaguely in chat or if it's something that I picked up um, going through the server logs, but I was like, this sounded nice. Wait, I have. The weird thing is, I I very nearly am um, at Project Zomboid. You know, isn't really a gentle game. This is interesting. tree 
is blocking the water? I think? Showing that I see that? <laughs> it's Luna. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's how we make things gentle. We beat them into submission? Just realized I probably need to make shovel. So I, I kicked up a Patreon server last month. Oh. Think about that, did I? Um, but then I realized if I do it through if I do the membership through fourth wall, then I can do automatic discounts on merch. Which seems more useful. Okay, so now we need to find... Reads. I thought I saw some... Oh, is it? No, that's... Iris, right? It's for the roofing. Oh, there's a storm rolling in. Fire's tool. Pretty sure that's just thatch. Oh, this map is so pretty. It feels like my frame rate's laggy, and I don't know if it is or if it's just me. Hello. Um, how do I do this again? Alright. But I still need more.
It took a long time. Oh, now I have fire. What is the... remember what the thing is that I'm looking for is called. I'm gonna turn off that one. I think. Okay. I just realized I got my gloves on. Yeah, no, I just I wanted the heads up display. Keep it on like looking around to try and find temperature and stuff. Okay. 
um, it feels good. The gloves feel really good. All right, now, is there a way to get my frame rate showing? Let's see. Uh, just, just a block game, Bachma. Just a silly little block game. Can't see shit. I feel like my frame rate's not right. Has your your kitty got used to the blanket yet? Right, I don't think I can see that. I need a gentle game for today. Which story? Sure, if yes. If, oh, control F3. Yeah, my, yeah, say my frame rate's dropping to 30 something. Which I don't mind if it's consistent. Well, I guess if no one complains, it's probably fine. I'm, uh... I mean, the ceiling fans are kind of scary, though. I get that. Looks okay? Okay. I trust that you guys would tell me if things were going sideways. Man, I wish I had a ceiling fan in here, but the ceiling is really low, so I could potentially, you know, end up with a French cure for a headache if I uh, had a fan in here. If, if you know what I'm saying. A newbie has started. Yay. The start is such a fun time in the game. It is. Hi, Mark. Oh my god, that was so loud for me. Why is all my audio... My audio is all janky. Mark, thank you. Yeah, fresh... Fresh start on a Homo sapien server. With lore enabled, so it's just gentle. Just a gentle game. Uh, but thank you so much. Don't forget to pick a color if you would like to do that. Just gentleness for today. I don't know why my audio is so janky. Light blue, you got it. See, now I've turned it down so I can't hear the music, so I don't know if it's still audible on stream or not. I'm just going to manage it. <laughs> It'll be fine. Either or, what is it say if I have her? Eight. Four. Alright. Light. Blue. Done. Yeah, we... We made a... So far it seems like a really pretty starting world. 
Um, I didn't do much to change the parameters for, for creating it. Oh, apparently we still have drifters. Also, it's starting in a few seconds. Um, but I think they'll leave me alone. So I think we'll be okay. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go AFK right here and stretch and take a break. Uh, you guys should do the same. Look at something further away from your face on your monitor. Get a drink and have a tea. Um, I think we're okay. Hey, hi, Ravi. Please, hello. You're playing Vintage Story. What? Welcome in. So we just we having a very chill, mellow day today. With with friendly drifters. Hey, buddy. Um, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a lovely time. Was there something that you were working on? All right. Is that gonna be enough? I think that is. Perfect. So now, we go back to, where was it? Up here. Don't do it, tracks. And swim into deep water with a torch. I 
I forgot that I've got... I'm using a mod that, like, trims the grass where you run. To make a path, almost? So you can kind of see where you've been. It's very interesting. Oh, I should mark this. Very. Is there a blueberry button? I don't think there is a blueberry. I am, yeah, I'm just on a single player, single player server, everything's on peaceful. Nothing's gonna eat me, at least I've try and eat it first okay have have pleasant time of cooking so hopefully like nothing will Try and fuck me up. Cool. And I can explore. We don't have any. I can't remember if I disabled cave ins. I have no recollection if I disabled cavens or not. How do I get out of this place? Oh, I thought I saw a coin there, but I guess it was a chicken. <laughs> as, as you do. Um, so yeah, I just, I just rolled it a new world. And it gives me a chance to play with some of the mods that I'm kind of interested in as well. Like, so there's one that just sort of... Well, I haven't made any return journeys, so you can't see them, but you see, it starts to generate animal paths um, in the grass. So basically, the grass wears down and, and it starts showing on the map, um, which I always thought was a really interesting mechanic to have in the game. I don't know where I'm going go that way and then there's one that I've got that just automatically marks the map if I encounter certain materials I still have to interact with the materials so it's not like a super lazy way um, but it's a bit more efficient and consistent than using manual macros But this starting area that I've come to, it's just really pretty. I picked a warm starting climate and it's just like, it's full of everything. 
It's got like the grains from hot weather climates, but like all the berries and the fruit and stuff as well. So I'm just kind of... I should probably make a bed. And that way I can just skip forward time. Also, it means if I want to set a um a forest fire. I can do so without being worried about other people. So that's always nice. Not that I would do such a thing. Yeah, it's just a really pretty spot. It's a big old lake. I may end up keeping this for this save for anniversary week, actually. I'm I've just I messaged uh Bluefang, who are our server provider, um, to ask if they do. Apparently, they think they can. They've just got back to me, so they're going to look into it. So maybe uh, we could have a, a peaceful, like, relax server for people to play on. I feel like that would get used more than Project Zomboid. I just realized why maybe my frame rate feels a bit different because I'm now playing this on my 2k monitor before it was just in like 1920 by 1080 so I could probably I may have to turn some settings down What is that? That's something that OBS keeps on moving out of the corner of my eye. I don't know what it is. It's the ad manager. <gasps> Look at these lupins. I think we would use that more though, right? Then. Project Zomboid. Oh, but yeah, what I was saying earlier, so I originally set up Patreon, uh, but today I started setting up membership tiers on Fourth Wall because it integrates with Twitch subs for discounts, but also means that I can do merch discounts directly connected to memberships. Um, so I think I'm going to put that um, server access attached to that. And that way... Get a discount too. I mean, you already get a discount, but... A discount on merch. That's really bright. I find that offensive. 
Where am I? I don't know where I'm going. East. There's definitely times where I've wanted to play Wind of Story, but I just don't feel like dealing with the cave-ins. Yeah, no, that's mainly it. I, just, I, I hate the cave-ins so much. I know once you get settled in, it's not like it's... It, why do I keep on confusing East and South? I know it's not like a big deal to to make the support struts for caves, but see, it's totally. I hear more bees. I don't know, somewhere, somewhere in the air is bees. Look, I've got turned around again. I was wanting to go east. Because I haven't... I don't know, I haven't really done anything else. It's just like it's in Homo sapiens mode with law content. So there are drifters, but they don't give a shit. And I put everything on passive. So it's not that they're not hostile. They just won't fuck with you if you don't fuck with them first, which I think is, you know, fair. Yeah. Oh my God, I can hear more bees. It all feels very idyllic right now. I'm still waiting for something to like go wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, there's our first ruin over there. Oh, there's a redwood forest. Honestly, this is this is my favorite part of Vintage Story. Like the beginning. Holy crap, this tree, it's so chunky. It's almost like this perfect circle on the map. Oh, we've got some. Ooh. All right. Got some clay there and some paint. Trader. Quartz. I think I have a seat not to bother recording quartz. Mushrooms. I, I 
apparently I have a mod up that makes Pete uh, visible. <sighs> I think I need to disable that. <laughs> it's not so important where I am. It is. It was it was very useful. Um it's very useful on Drax's server because where my base is is way out of the area where that stuff spawns. And so I only really get to the, like the sort of like the liminal stages between the zones. So then it's really helpful, but for that, it's a bit yeah. Little, little, little overkill. I, cause I, I mean, yeah, I keep on getting itchy and itch to play Project Zomboid, but there are other servers I could play that on. <sighs> Here we go. Look, I can be brave again. Oh boy. Uh, this way? No? Uh, this way. I did do a backup of our Project Zomboid server. That sound, that is the sound of me leaving, ooh, a trail of chopped grass behind me. That's the path making mod. Oh, does it? That's good to know. I, I wasn't sure, so I just... Well, actually, I deleted the previous backup, and then I just renamed the My World's... Whatever, I can't remember what it's called. Folder. I just renamed it so that it generated a new one. But we only... There were only a few of us on there, and I don't think anyone was, like, really interested. I backed it up because I know Stu had quite a big building in there. So it's available if he wants to try and stuff out of it. I did message Stu the other day, by the way, Toast, just a, a non-demanding thing just to let him know we were thinking of him. And it's a traitor. Um, basically just like a, yeah, just, hey, we're thinking of you. Please don't feel obliged to reply because I know that sometimes it's hard to deal with that and spoon, but you know, we're thinking of you, hoping you're doing all right. Sometimes I think it, it just, just knowing that you're in someone else's thoughts is kind of a, it's not not quite the level of tots and peers, but it helps. So, I don't know if he saw it or not, but I seen it. 
always send him a card too. Oh, oh, sticks and bandages. Yeah, right. That's that's a good deal. Oh, nice. Copper X. Fuck yes. I need to make another knife. It's weird how sometimes the grass removal doesn't make a sound. If that's going to show on the map here. Really. Hello. Okay, so we have knife, shovel, we have a copper axe. We have two shovels, actually. I thought I saw more ruin. It's up there. I'm not looking for anything in particular. Scotty. Nice to see ya. It's very windy in here. It is kind of nice how you can see where you've been. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna say I don't know if I'd go as strong, as far as to say it's he can it's he can wimdy, but it is in gale, like gale strength winds keeps on coming out there. So I I think near gale to gale counts as he can wimdy. Yeah. Here you go. Through the through the door, Dell. <clears throat> oh, come on. What did you give me flint axe and a flint shovel. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. Well, I mean, this could be a good starting spot. To set up. How? Also, ow.
Because the other thing it, that I was worried about in terms of setting up a server for the community is I didn't want to set up something that would conflict with someone else. I had a basket. I can't use that. Fuck you. So if we have a server with a different purpose and I feel like it's not running counter to what Drax and Molly have. I honestly feel like this isn't a bad place to, to build. Oh, apparently I have a hungi. I haven't seen peanuts, but we do have amaranth grain and sunflowers and all the, the berries. Yeah, I think we're gonna use this place and then we can just like rob out the uh, the ruins here. Building materials. So now I'm like, but what if I find a better place? Well then, Dal, you can move. Uh, it's amazing how you can just... what you want in a game. I don't think I want to build... oh, hello. Oh. Dang. Wait, that's enough now for storage. I don't think I want to build in there. It's too, it's too big. Oh, I got flax fibers off that too. Nice. Okay. This place is less full of bones. But, um... I'm dug up. All right, don't have a pickaxe, so I don't think I can... I probably, yeah, get off just using dirt to start off with. Oh hey, Piper! Well, okay then.
see what I can get with this. Match that one. Okay, they, they will be the door. Perfect. It's still very uh, open, open air. Very open flow built. Open floor plan is the word I was going for, but I forgot how to word. You know that feeling when you've been so tense that taking a deep breath makes your back pop? Yeah, cause, cause that just happened. I think that's okay. Uh, hey, hey! <laughs> Thank you, Bakba. Don't get your thumb in my drink, though. Also, for me, it looked like you were petting the torch. Um, which entertains me. It's I Careful. No. -uh. I didn't tell you to put your hand there. I need tree. Hello, are you a tree? Look like a tree. I would never do such a thing. You are a terrible tree. Oh, these are baby trees. So they only have like one thing. Um, this and then this and then that. That... No, that's not my house. This this monstrosity. <laughs> it 
this is this is my house. It's it needs some attention. Take my vitamins. Hi, Sadie. Gentle, kind day today. Even the drift is like, okay, we chill out. Actually, I do like that the drifters are still spawning because it means that you can still, you know, farm them for um um temporal gears. If you want to shop. I don't know if that's going to count. Okay, that sound still terrifies me. Any gaps? <sighs> Sadie, there is a, a vague possibility, slight, slight possibility that I may be in Columbus. Like July, August, maybe? Maybe. I still have to figure out if there's a... Uh, yes, Bachma. <clears throat> um, I still have to figure out if it's possible to get, like, a bus ticket without photo ID. So please, ju just as a, a potential, but I don't know yet. Basically, everything rides on the ability to uh, to be able to travel without any form of ID. I know I can't fly anywhere in this country. <laughs> so. Are you gonna fake an ID for me? I 
mean, I know you're very resourceful as a librarian. It was just a, an idle conversation that I had with Um, the late July, early August with, uh, with Dean. Okay. That's a lot of driving though. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Oh. Okay, so maybe we can co like if, co coordinate Dean and Jesse's vacation, but perhaps? I told Flint it might be a possibility that I might be buggering off to Ohio for a week or two. And then maybe Buckma, maybe, maybe, maybe I can see Buckma too. That's why I figured I'd mention it just just in in case there's like a chance of coordination. He's he's right here in chat, silly. He is also in Ohio. I don't want to give away any more information with that than that. <laughs> Without consent. See? He's right there. Oh Luna. Cleveland. Okay, so that's not that far away. Really. Okay, I, d I wasn't sure. I'm, I always err on the side of caution. I mean, it's not... When you consider the distance from, like, where I am to Ohio... Cleveland to Columbus isn't really that far. But yeah, this is just like just something that that Dean mentioned. It is. Oh, you do. That's right. Um. Yes, yeah, something that Dean mentioned. I was chatting with him last night. So. Yeah, 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 and. I said I don't know when they're because they said they needed you know someone to take care of of doggos but yeah that's a possibility and I said to Flint it's like I may possibly be heading out of state for a bit in July August and he's like okay so forewarned I think he knows it would be good for me to to get a Sadie hook. And I almost wonder if I mention to a certain cow friend that we might be able to coordinate something there. I know that's still kind of a way away. But it's closer than Florida. I'll even toast us up that way. It's gonna end up being a bloody tour. <laughs> oh, has this finally no? Why is it? Cow home look seems like it'd be really lovely. Why is this square inserted inside, but not here?
I'm like, let, let's take over this ruin and then I tear the ruin down and replace all the pretty stone with, with dirt. I think it's these chiseled blocks. Oh, I don't have any dirt. It is nice not having to worry about these fuckers throwing rocks. That's going to be one of these ones. That it? Oh. I don't know why I'm so determined to like get it sealed. I think that one was even necessary. I feel like I'm starting to unwind a bit. The only problem is, Sadie, if I come and visit you, I don't I'm not gonna wanna leave. My brain is so fried right now that the thought of visiting you and having to then leave is making me want to cry. I'm not even there and I'm sad about leaving. What the fuck? Like, no. I need my frame. Bella's very delicate today, very fragile. Right there. I mean, you say that, but you've also seen... Yeah, you, you see where we are as well. Oh my god, the drifters really did a number on the grass. Look, look, the drifters mowed the lawns. That was nice of them. I don't 
understand how this is not considered sealed. Which yes, I do. They missed, they did miss a spot. We're not getting your pocket money till you finish the lawns. Look at that, right there. Terrible. Hey. Honestly, I, it's so hard to get a higher cap these days. Wilderness Trail? Oh. Okay. Yeah, etc. etc. Uh... Oh, Sadie, I tried a delicious um a lunch today. When I ate when I started stream, I had some cinnamon raisin toast. But I had some ginger preserves on it. And it was so fucking delicious. Um, yeah, I was just like, I went, like, it kind of, I wasn't sure about it. It's this stuff here. We, it was one of the things that Flint got for me in my birthday food stash that I just finally cracked open. But the ginger preserve is still sweet, so it's almost like it's got the warmth. Um... And the sweetness of like ginger cookie but you've also got i don't know it just worked really well and it tasted really good on the right cinnamon raisin bread so if you like ginger and sweet things i recommend that i'm trying to think if there's like cooking like baking that i can use i was worried that it was going to be really dry stick um, but it was actually really yummy. Game, please. Good, good day. God. How, how fares the good sir? Here's room for improvement. I feel like that that's a uh... well, it's still guppy. How is it already time for ads? Have I literally spent the last hour trying to surround this ruin with dirt? The answer is yes. Yes, I have. Dirt is life. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Whatever. That's our outside dining table. Um, I have no food. That's fine. Doing all right. I started a a fresh single. I got a bit of a stutter, but I started a fresh single player save. Um. And it's a really lovely spawn area. So using some of the mods, like, oh god, you can see where the drifters were. Um, the one that does the pathing, path like that automatically just like mows the grass. 
we we had some drifters visit last night and they did the lawns as you can see they um they missed a few spots so we're gonna have a chat with them before i give them their, their paint for next time Yeah, so they were moving around, so you can really see um, where they're going, but you can tell, you can see a path, and it is really interesting. I don't know how long it takes for critters to start building paths, but you can kind of, kind of see maybe something there. Um, and I'm using, trying out that automatic map marker one as well. But it's kind of fun because you can just like run through tall grass and then turn around and see where you've been. Didn't work then. Because why would I do that when I was trying to demonstrate it? Well, you can see it right here. Short grass. So it doesn't destroy the grass, it just clips it, so you can still cut it if you need to. Yeah, it's really interesting. So I found this ruin that I'm temporarily borrowing to get established. Oh, is it there? Is it that? Is it that the spot? It, it might. Okay. So, it's a really pretty map. There's a fuckload of bees here already. I guess I'm just lucky that way. I still have macros for a few things. Um, so I still have macros for surface copper and for bees. Because most of the interactions are based on interaction, like deliberately interacting with a thing. Otherwise, it just won't record it. So you don't get filled with spam. Which is nice. But I'm really just kind of flailing around right now. And I'm waiting to find out... What is doing that? There's something on my OBS. Flickering just out of the corner of my eye. And I don't know what it is. You're waving through. Drax! Alright. Let's just go. Uh, what are we? Let's pick some berries. This is such a nice. I picked a warm climate to start off with. So I've got amaranth and sunflowers as well as berries. You can hear it cutting the grass behind me. And there's blueberries here too. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Probably something I should do something with. I guess I forgot how it is when you just like brand new server 
Everything's like fresh and untouched. Except for me making a big mess everywhere. I still feel like I'm getting some stuttering. Probably just me though. Like, oh, it's so pretty. What the fuck? Makes me so mad. How dear. Oh, look, you can see it right there. You can see the little half block impact of me moving on it. Hello? Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm not going down there. I think it it may just rely on the, the normal time for grass to grow back from that state. This is super safe. So it's probably it would probably only last as a path if it's constantly used. But I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how long it takes for grass to uh Grow. The bunnies all look like loaves of bread. Oh, you know what? Let's put my torch away. Let's just water around. Well, I, I, we're in, um. Homo sapiens mode. So critters the there's no mole men to try and eat me. Unless I piss them off first, they'll leave me alone. Ooh, that looks interesting. Yes, who didn't mark? Okay, that's close enough. I didn't mark where my little what was my lean. It's I I miss the um the yellowy green. Like I like the I like the jungle living, the lack of bears and lack of wolves. But I miss the color. Look, you've got a seasonal change going up that hill there. Like orange at the top, and green at the bottom. Oh, it's floaty bits. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh shit. All right. Into a granite area. 
So this is going to be good look. Look at all those pine trees. It'll be really good for a reason, I bet. It's a trader. Not the fox. Quartz. Quartz. Oh. Well, may as well mark that. Wait, how do I? I think I need a pick to mark it actually. Oh, I forgot I, I need to look for surface copper. Oh, oh sure. I'll take it. This is a really pretty scene so far. Interesting. It is like look the the swirl coloring on that grass there. I noticed that before. Why is it so pretty? Out here. Oh, this. Oh, that's a good amount of copper down there. I was gonna say this is. I. I oh. A jump scare free save, but I still get scared from bunnies and pigs, so yeah, it's a lot. E4. That's enough for an ingot. That's enough for my brain's like, how do we do this now? A pick. Just need to get some clay now. I don't know where I came from. Oh, that way. This reminds me when I used to play Conan Exiles and I'd always go looking for materials on the desert. Because they, they contrast more against the sand. Oh, well, fuck. All right. And if you just want to do that, It really is. Sure, just give me some tin straight off. I'm okay with that. I'm sorry, Little Miss built my house on a iron node. 
What was that you were saying? Holy crap, this is just so cool. Prison. See, it all, it, well, I can't really, because my bee's in the way. Um, but it automatically marks the resin on my mini map. Yeah, and you can change the um, the icons and stuff too. Holy, look, look, like I said there'd be lots of resin up here. It's two on one tree. We're gonna be able to get to it. That's fine. I this is the color like these are the colors that I miss. Yeah, greens to oranges I like oranges <laughs> there's still jump scares it's fine oh Did they wake you guys up hey guys A party. Yeah, they're just chilling. Basically the same. It doesn't look safe. I don't I don't feel safe. With the, you know, fog down there. What am I looking for? Copper. Fine. I'm I'm not a fan of the ground giving way underneath me as I walk. Really? Oh, look at this. Oh, look over. Okay, don't look at that. Look at this instead. Walls! They won't eat me. I hope. <laughs> it's great until I'm dead. Those god rays. Is that a glint I saw? Her? No, it wasn't. It was just a bit of sand, I guess. I 
I have, uh, I have no food on me. So that's, um, helpful. Wait, I... Sorry. Does anyone have any snacks? It's spring. I'm gonna find food somewhere. It's weird how flat there's these like huge flat sections here. Oh, oh, blueberries. Delicious. Blueberries. I should probably... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, make myself a spot for the night to bunker up down something, but everything is fine. I just realized I was supposed to take my last break so that I could actually do. This will be fine. I'll be right back. I need to, I need to wee. Right, I'm not, 
I'm not used to, you know, seeing a, a drifter and not being concerned. Okay, how much copper have I got? 29. I mean, if I could get more... Honey! have enough for an ingot of tin. Oh, I've run out of these are Oh god, hot flash. We uh, started a, a fresh single player save in um, easy, easy mode. Just quiet, relaxy. from the lightning. Yeah, just just taking it easy. Chill vibe mode, yeah. But low spoons. So no aggression except for mine. I'm not gonna say no aggression because I will I will. No aggression, set it off in, um, <laughs> I have a torch and I'm not afraid to use it. Hi, Molly. Molly's a star. We're in homo sapiens mode, but I put lore content on. So we get craters and ruins and we do get drifters, but they just kind of, you know, they just sound like homeowners association members, but they don't actually do anything. It's fine. Molly, how was stream? Drex, how was yours as well? I my brain isn't like firing entirely today. I hope you both had fun. Uh the rising. We'll just like oh, your grass is too long. Cannot have Jasmine there. I'm glad you had fun. I know I've been this way. Well, I don't know anything because it's dark. <sighs> I can't even like log out and be like, okay, someone else sleep. Speed time up, please. Oh, hello?
Okay. Well, we're pretty close to 200 units of copper, so that's uh, an axe and a hammer. I was a little bit scared of that. Not gonna lie. That was an unfamiliar shape, and I was concerned it was gonna start moving. There's a rock in the tree. Oh. Oh, that sounds so pretty. It sounds really pretty, especially uh, now that I don't need to wait. That's only midnight, still four hours of darkness. Oh, I completely missed this entire... It's interesting. What is that? I'm so glad I remembered to select the real color map, too. Oh god. This is fine. I'm just like, surely we're just gonna stumble upon like a massive metal deposit. Something really interesting. Right? That looks so different on the map. Because it's no. Oh, is it the granite rock? Oh, well, that was thrilling. Hello. Sweet. 
Do I have enough copper ore to make two to fill two molds? So that's a pick. Oh, hey, buddy. Pick and a hammer. Man, this feels really on to have got copper sorted out. The Leap. Leap is a furniture trader. He's the second furniture, furniture trader. Goodbye. Layer of stick. I said logs of earth. I'm like, you know what I need? I need to be able to get across the water fast. That's a pretty good little foray. Now I'm wondering if I did something. To change that without paying attention. Like, did I fuck around with the ground spawn rates for stuff? Because I can't remember. Maybe I did. Probably? Maybe? I don't know. Ooh. Four o'clock. Okay, we'll be able to see probably soon. It's not full in that hole. Oh, I think I recognize this spot.
Oh, that looks cool. Oh, oh, oh that look that looks less than cool. I don't think I want to fall down quite that far. Okay, there we go. Can go without the torch here. I always get so intrigued when I see like holes cut through places. I've literally just run past the same place like fucking time. Man, the quality of lighting in this is bonkers. Oh, what? Well, I hungry. Hungies. Man, that, that ginger preserve that I had on my cinnamon raisin toast was so yummy. Um, I was very, I was really dubious that it was going to be a very dry flavor. With it being ginger, they usually go for it. They they don't tend to add sweetness, so it ends up being like spicy and in a dry flavor. But this is just like so good. And on cinnamon raisin toast, it's almost like Christmas toast. And ginger's good for you too. Probably not with all the sugar, but that's not the point. Wait, where am I going again? All right, we need to... Okay, here's the question. I've not really settled anywhere. Yet. I have the fixings to make, I have the ore to make tools, so I should just do that somewhere. Maybe? Gravy, welcome back. Oh look, it's quartz. Quasle. No. Oh, see? My frame rate's like really creepy right now. It's fine again. It's dropping to 30. Oh. What is that?
Oh. Oh, that's my frame rate meter showing the uh Yeah, it's showing the low. It's been it's feeling like it's stuttering occasionally or I'm getting like a little bit of no weirdness. And I, I think it's because I still have everything set for when for, for my other monitor. And now I've got this, this high quality monitor. So it's, uh, it's eating all the pixels or something. Totally. Um, yeah, a couple of, like, a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, we got um, Brylar and Echo and someone else, I think, they all contributed to, to a monitor on my throne wish list, so I was able to stop using the janky broken one that I had. Um, see if that helps. But it's a higher resolution, so, yeah, it's a bit more demand, I guess. On the old system resources. Still feels weird. See, it feels worse now I've turned the frame rate down. That's interesting. And everyone else is like, I don't know what you're talking about, Dell. It's fine. I love the little grunty sound that the bunnies make. It's so this this seed is so good. These so like the oak trees, and they said we set it off warm, so there's like all of all of the berries and amaranth. Sunflowers. We like berries. But now we're facing that whole but where do I build thing? Keep hoping that maybe I'll stumble upon like a really neat ruin somewhere. What the heck? What? Why so much tin? It looks bumpy. So 
so my original where I was gonna build was up here. This area looks potentially good. I just have to get around these mountain mountains. I don't know if I'm heading towards a warmer climate or not. Oh, okay. We have to go all the way down there to get around. <gasps> Spotty goat. Look at that Spotty goat. Hey, buddy! Oh, Ryan, you look cute! Not seen that one before? Ring! Ring! That's very cute. Oh, there's another one. I feel like they're just all laughing at me. Looks like you might might be at risk of logging into winter again, Drax. Oh. Like what is that shadow? It's just the berry bush I guess? Okay, this looks better. Fruit ba the fruit bars are really good. I like the fruit bars. It's just that gelatin is such a pain in the butt to make. Okay, so yeah, this is a new biome here. It's pretty. Sava. Well, good news is if I get hungry, there's termites. This is really interesting that we've got the berries here. Oh, there's a ruin.
I I find myself constantly having a craving for like current candy. Soy. Honestly, this place with the soy right here. Look at that. And that's the other bio over here. A lot of clay there too. This is where I would expect to find meteor craters. and fruit trees. And down here might be a good spot. I'm just kind of nosing around in case I see peanuts. If we can get started with peanut seeds in hand. Uh, excuse me, that's a banana. That is not a peanut. Then all I have to do is eat peanut and seed fruit, sunflower candy for the rest of my life. Holy crap, look at all these crops. <gasps> that is a valid reason to drag someone out of the room to see. Okay, so that is jungle over there. Yeah. And see the vines on the trees. A, oh, there's a pig. This is a weird spot between all these biomes. is very interesting indeed.
spring and 33 degrees yeah it's pretty warm it's like florida look onion welcome back from ads i forgot to stand up again I was vaguely hopeful. Oh, that was... So you've got this curious little dry plains area here. Jungle there and temperate above it. I don't know if I'm going to find much more in here. <gasps> A little piglet! So cute! My sense of direction is seriously shot because right now my brain brain is telling me I'm going north and I'm going southeast. Which is very not. Oh, thanks. That all looks like it's gonna suck to try and walk through. So we're gonna avoid that. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I had a rabbit hat. No. Stop. Ugh. Playing on the server has just got me like 
constantly looking out for meteor craters. So if I see a round-ish hole, I start looking for like the little rocks around the outside of it. I haven't found any peanuts. You know what I should do while I'm here? Let's cut some trees down in the jungle because then I will get the uh, vines, which I can use to make rope. Then I can make a raft. Yeah, little leaves. I think it was only three that I needed, right? Okay, oh. I need 12 logs. It's gonna take a while. Right. One raft. What's that? You know, I probably don't need the shell right now. Damn it! I wasn't sure if that would happen. Yes! Yes, it would. one thing about playing at a higher resolution is all of a sudden there's a whole lot more space in uh, in your game like UI space
So I think we need to go west. Back into the uh oh. Back to the land of termites. Gently, gently, gently. I I have an ultra wise, and I actually used it for like two years for stream, and for, it is absolutely amazing for some games like No Man's Sky. It's just like mind blowing. Alright, just. It's so amazing for some games. I've actually tuned my ultra wide um, 90 degrees, so it's uh, in portrait mode. And I use that as my monitoring thing for stream now. Um, and it's 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 pretty large, but it's it's a good size. I think it's working well. Where how is my inventory right now? Wait, blue clay. Okay, I can use blue clay for molds. Yeah, there's some games, um, also the like Assassin's Creed games are amazing and ultra wide. Oh, look at that. It just, I just realized it, it's marked the blue clay on the map. It's funny you get used to it like that. Okay. How much? Okay, so we've got a couple of stacks of clay. Now back to running around in the dark, so that's fun. I'm assuming primitive survival is working properly because I have the raft, so I guess I've just not lucked out yet, and so I haven't seen uh, either hollow trees. Like something's come through here. Oh, was that me? It may have been me. Good night, Drax. Have a good, have a good sleeps. A lot of blue clay. Oh, it's him. Look at him leaving the path behind him.
Buddy, he's mowing the lawns. Good job. Keep going. Keep it up. He just fell in a hole. The paths are like the most visible on clay. It's quite creepy though, when you see the pathing there. Like this is all from drifters wandering around. And a little bit me. I'm not ready to start messing about with uh oh high fertility soil. You know what? This is on the list. This would be a lot easier if it were daylight. I could just set everything on fire. Keep forgetting which way north is. when I go out with Flint. I feel like, where are we going? He's like, that way. Like, oh. Okay. Or he'll be like, that way, and then we'll turn, and then we'll go this way, and then we'll turn again, and then we'll go that way, and I'll be like, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very helpful. Back to berries. Oh, amaranth. I love amaranth. It's so pretty. Oh. Oh, that was. That was a crater. It's not a crater. Oh, I may have to eat bugs. Or well, maybe not. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't think I want to go up there. No. 
amour. Just after midnight? Oh god, it's still really dark. I think I just need to start. Like, there's literally no reason for me to be trying to explore in the dark. This may or may not have started a forest fire. Three, four, five. All right, they're here. Now I've got my surfboard back under my arm. Where do I... Where am I finding peanuts again? Jungle or savannah? Thanks, Kern. Yeah, that's a honeybee question. I'm just too tired to look it up. My brain's too tired to remember shit. Yeah, there's always someone in the peanut gallery here. South enough to find papyrus. It's pretty cool. I'm in the pistachio gallery. The honey roasted pistachio again. Yeah. Oh, no, the honey roasted cashews. Yeah, I need to go south again. Oh. I think I'm like just on the border between uh, between the two two biomes. Is so Amazon. I do. Yeah, because I got the raft. Um, here's Amazon brand honey. I haven't tried that. Oh, good point. I'm not a fan of the texture of puddings, but I did once have pistachio ice cream and it was fucking delicious. So I'm, I'm willing to try pistachio pudding. But yeah, Amazon have these coconut toffee uh, cashews and they are... They are something else. Yeah, I love those things. Oh, wait, they are. Oh, Amazon, why do you why do you do that here? No, oh, don't turn on shield mode for fuck's sake. Yeah, those. If you if you like cashews. See, we're just on the border. Between cattails and papyrus. Big, big recommend. With. 
I when I when I worked in uh, in hospo on Sundays I would usually take um a treat of some form to put on bowls on, on the bar just from the regulars and uh I got to a point where I ate pistachios so much that I had calluses from like cracking the shells open. The excuse, of course, was I was just getting the the pistachios for the customers, but obviously it was so that I could eat them. Wait, when you say shelled pistachios, do you mean like still in the shell? Wait. Ah, oh, that's the wrong one. Like, that doesn't look right. Okay. Well, I mean, I can understand why your mouth is, you know, them suckers is sharp. So maybe primitive survival isn't loading. Which is maybe why I haven't seen any of those. Um. Things. Wait, I don't see it. Am I... Maybe... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, if, if you like cashews and you haven't tried those, those ones that I linked, they are so good. Finds mum gets some as a treat for me sometimes, and I'm not normally one to inhale an entire bag of something. Except for those. Once I start on those, I ain't stopping. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love, love pistachios, love cashews.
But now I'm wondering if I should check the other mods. Like for better ruins, because I don't know if I've seen any that would be considered better ruins either. Before I get exploring too far. Yeah, it's not there. I wonder, I was like, man, all of these. No, it's fine. Nothing to apologize for, Tok. I would rather know than not. And at least I've not very explored very far. So but now what else am I missing? I have ex mm -hmm. I don't have culinary artillery or expanded foods on here either. Which would have made it very difficult. To, you know, make the peanut sunflower candy stuff. Is it culinary artillery install? Did I interrupt it? I did. Okay. Do you see any other glaring admission or missions? Not admissions. I don't admit anything on the stream. I think that's it though, mainly, right? Primitive survival, expanded foods, better ruins. I already have brick layers. I don't really consider brick layers essential, just nice to have. Okay. Well, let's see what the game gives me now. I get so suspicious when I get ad accounts follow me on social. Okay, so I was like, these ruins seem really boring. And why have I not found any trees? That's fine. Because, you know, Uh, the save game was created with an older version of the game to restore some of the blocks. I think. Uh, sure. Go for it. Treat. Wow, really? This seems like really high saturation. I probably I don't get that many. Thank you for the warning, Toast. Um, I don't get a lot. I mean, I get a few bot followers because Flint always has a Gleam giveaway running and he always has my Twitter account on there. Okay, two remapping sets with a total of 516 remappings have been executed and now restart your game server. Um, so I usually get a couple, but every now and then I'll see an account and I'm like, you're not following me for giveaway entries. You're following me because you think it's some weird world that I'm going to hire you to do emotes.
I'd honestly eat my Twitter if it weren't such a useful tool. Like, it seems to be still, even though it's a fucking toxic trash fire. <laughs> um, like, the, the amount of, like, opportunities that come my way through Twitter is distressing. I do, I do. I can hook you up, Bakma. It's real easy. All you have to do is type emote. Just tweet the word emote and I guarantee you'll get some really high quality, amazing artists contact you. So when it's remapping, Is it putting its own stuff on top of the blocks that are already been loaded in the game? Or is it literally just... No, it's going to be rewriting the code for the blocks in game. Never mind, ignore this question. I think I answered it myself. It's, it's fine. Okay. I need to go to the jungle. My jungle. Yeah. I'm after those vines. One of the best parts about the jungle living was the vines everywhere. The concept of oh. I just have you explained the the Waffle House Index in Florida? In Florida. <laughs> Fema is like, we could use an official scale, or hear me out, we could use a breakfast diner to gauge how serious the disaster is. Wait. Ugh. Ooh. Mm. Get out of it. Okay. Yes. No. No, I did not. Okay, so now I need the nine logs. I feel like you're probably a bit big to chop down for this. Oh, these are all k pop trees, aren't they? No. Are there one really big tree or more than one really big tree? And I have this freaking issue picture up. I'm. I'm. Oh, it's eight o'clock. I'm I'm very hopeful, cautiously optimistic about Blue Fang being able to to, to do Vintage Story. There we go. Oh, uh, no. Oh, geez. They did. That is a really nice picture. What do I kick? Okay. 
I was... I mean, I was pretty impressed with my creepy pictures that I got from my phone. Well, I already have some firewood, so let's just... Here we go. Hey, they cleared up two spaces. Okay, so south enough for papyrus. Oh, there we go. It's better. Mysterious and there's a lot of mysterious internet things. Like, I think a mosquito just bit under my arm. It's pretty fucking rude. I hate mosquitoes. The sage grass is irksome. Because I keep seeing it, thinking it's shrubby. Is it? No. <laughs> It's, it's not, but that's okay, because no one's going to knock on me, right? Right? I mean, I might not like it, but I'm feeding the state bird. I'm literally giving it. Uh, that gets gross fast. Never mind. Carry on. Oh, look, there's a deer swimming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing my part. Now I want to try and make like one of those silly wartime effort posters. You know, the old Uncle Sam. What are you doing to do a thing? So good at wedding. I'm going to end up starving out because I'm hunting food. <laughs> I have four blueberries. I probably could save this for another time. You know what would be really delicious? Just eating some raw rice. Yum. So crunchy. Oh, 
don't know if I've so I don't know if I've been through here or if this is critters leaving this path. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Someone found Pina. Okay. Hey, my torch went out again. Someone keeps putting my torch in water. Um, yeah. Right. Come on over here. Chickens. You can see the ground where the chickens have like scratched away there. Okay. I don't want to be near the jungle. It's too hot. If we can get like a little bit more north, but not like too far north, we try and find a sweet spot. I love the change in color between these two biomes here. I'm like, maybe... Maybe I should eat some bugs. Wait, that's red clay. That's ebony right there, isn't it? There's a few ebony trees there. Like, wait, what looks like a tree? <laughs> Name some trees. Ebony. They didn't say. My brain is doing things. Okay. Puppy! Puppy! All oh, right, but we're gonna go eat bugs. 
Nobody likes me. Everybody. Hmm. Delicious. God, I can just sleep. But it's 80 degrees in my room. No wonder I feel warm. Mm. So that didn't really work out too well for me. I went to bed too early. Don't you hate it when you do that? You go to bed too early and then you wake up too early. So there is something to be said about being awake before anyone else's and just that that moment of like no, it's like bliss to me where you know everyone else is asleep, so you've got like a bit of freedom. If only there was a way for me to see. Oh hey. It is. Which still gives you that same glorious feeling. It always feels like really luxuriant when, uh, like if Flint's finished stream and gone to bed and I'm still up and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm up past my bedtime. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Not that I have a bedtime, but it still feels very like. Reminds me of being little and being allowed to stay up late. Okay, we'll be able to see soon. And then we can look. Now I feel that like we've got what I need. I've got what I need to do. Molds for copper tools and to plant some peanuts. Oh, I should have got some sunflower seeds too. Or I can come back for that. Those are easier to find. Uh, you know what? I don't feel like we're. These are just not working. I, I love my, my little in here birds, but sometimes they're just not. I'll play it with no sound. I've not got to play it with no sound. It would be weird. These just sound. Oh god, I don't feel like I have to yell with these either. It always just feels, they sound so much better, which, you know, isn't surprising, really. Right. I like wearing my Bluetooth ones if I've got earrings in. Or if I've done something with my hair, but...
So this is the, I think this is the spot that was like in between, right? So you've got the jungle over there. Hmm. Okay. Now we find a place to see it up. It's already? Wait, wait. Oh, it's already been four hours. Fuck. How? Is that jungle over there too? It is. I do. I do need to stretch. Yes, we have ads popping shortly. Um. So I'm gonna stand up and stretch. And you should too. Even you, Buckma. Hydrate, stretch, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Enjoy the sunrise.
All right. It looks like you were treated to a very, very pretty sunrise. <sighs> okay. I'm so glad they fixed it so that the pigs weren't like super aggressive on uh, passive mode. I mean, this is. It's building spots go. I mean, it's it's okay. It's nice that there's a bunch of high quality soil here, but it's it's not, you know, not floating my boat or digging my dirt or something. I think as long as we stick around this latitude, be okay. I, oh, I haven't marked off that trader yet. I've got a little bit of latitude with the with the peanuts, as long as I don't go too far north. Hello? Oh, you're a treasure hunter. Yeah, a little latitude. What? I thought that was good. Look, mine's having internet issues and so is elsewhere. So someone has to make the terrible, terrible puns. Hey! Why would I do that? Ooh. It's all berry bushes, so I had to come ashore. Oh. Uh, hmm. Eat berries. Alright, let's go further west. Welcome back. I hope you had a nice walk. Well, I thought it was very clever. After I said it, and I realized what I said. We're looking for a place to call farm. And why did that? Oh, is it? <laughs> you are. It's in the fine print. Everyone's got in individual elements. 
Because, you know, not everyone's not the same. Everyone's got their own things that they're, like, good at. I don't know if I want to mess with the redwoods again. Don't ask questions if you don't want to know what the answer is. Really want to jump in that hole? But I don't think I can get back out. Well, Sadie, as a as as someone who is involved in dealing with literature on a day to day basis, I feel like perhaps you probably should have read it. It's Bald Cypress Swamp right there. Oh, no, more west. Actually, I'm trying to think what series is. I mean, Echo is, is like archivist. Damn it. Put my torch out. See, now the redwood forests are, forests are super pretty, but this rain. <laughs> oh. Well, first of all, there's the terms of service. Then there's the end user license agreement. Then there's the privacy statement and the HIPAA statement. And then there's the waifu clause. <laughs> yeah I mean it's, it's a lot there's a lot going on there rainfall in this area almost all of the time fuck right off with that <laughs> yeah that was that was definitely a very good usage of polite care okay so the main reason i wanted to carry on with ooh, here we go west is to get to chunks that hadn't been wraps um <laughs> that hadn't been loaded yet i think not crabs that's old ciphers Oh, 
Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. There's a, a traitor at a ruin. Hey, buddy. A glass traitor. I don't think I've seen a glass trader before. I like his hat. Rainfall in this area, very common. My inventory is is very full. So I don't really need to be exploring ruins. But this is pretty cool. Farming. Ooh, there's some desert there. Just eat all these berries so I can pick this block out. Oh. Well, see, now I was worried that that was what was going to happen. What do I want rope for? Oh. Maybe. Oh, I don't have any beeswax. I have found a lot of bee beehives earlier. What are that's just linen thread. Huh. I don't know you could put ropes on the ground. Uh, west. I do quite like the bald cypress swamps. I should be looking for mushrooms. Those are, you almost always find good mushroom spawns in those swamps. I'll take it. I was like, boy, that's a lot of foxes all like curled up next to each other. I'll leave a couple. I'm never going to find anywhere to live. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. 
Ooh. Eddie straw. I don't think I've seen those before. I bet that's delicious with cheese. It's quite nice running through or anywhere really and not having to worry about hearing growls. Oh, hello. Hello. Apple tree. Uh, that sounds perfectly acceptable and reasonable. Daisy has been using her giant bone as a pillow and it's too fucking cute. But every time every time I go to take a picture of it, she gets up. And it's like, look, stop that. Keep on being cute, but let me take a picture, please. One day I will build my my little fairy house, my fairy tail house on the woods. Waffle, ha Waffle House parody. Ned. Uh, I don't think Lid's gonna be. Oh, I should mark it just in case. Whoa, that's a tall thing. Wow. Holy crap. That looks cool. I feel like it's not going to look as cool when I get closer. Yeah, not really. Wait. Feathers. We're in the right biome now. Oh, it's still warm because there's soybeans growing. Oh, we're crossing over into... Yeah. 
like Mediterranean type fire I guess. But that's not chalk, is it? No, it's not limestone. I was like, oh my god, chalk, yes. Hello? Where? Is that lead? Oh yeah. It's not the the greens aren't quite right for me here. Spring twenty nine point eight degrees Celsius. I don't want to be near mountains. They're pretty to look at, but they block the view. I guess the view could be mountains and then they wouldn't be blocking. pockets is your wife's like why can't i hear random mumbling coming from your butt what have you done But whispers. But spurs. That's what happens when you have a little bit of ice cream. Right? Having... having me randomly make utterances from your pocket does sound pretty spooky. <sighs> Not digging it around here either. I'm gonna have to keep going east. That uh, west. West. Wanna to go to bed too early, remember, or I will wake up and it'll be dark. I don't I don't know. Is is a pocket tail handy? What can a pocket tail do? Like swear at people? 
Oh, uh, I tried another thing from that um, stash of goodies that Flint got me for my birthday. It was the McKay's Ginger Preserve. Tried it today. Big recommend. Very delicious, especially on cinnamon raisin toast. <laughs> Heck! All right, be right back. I'm gonna go make an app. <laughs> it's not. It's not like. It's not spicy ginger. It's just like a really nice warm ginger flavor. Big. Big recommend. Well, in the uh, Europe from the European food section. I will gladly yell heck at random people. Hey, do that. I'm like, why is it so dark? Well, you see, now if you don't have a torch lit. Is a pocket edition of Dell like a light edition of something? You know how you get like the the Webster's light, and it's just like a pocket edition edition of a diction dictionary. Just spits out random comments about buttons. Just the whole function of it is just to yell heck and recite facts from QI. No, <laughs> with eight phrases. Heck and hacker. Get hacked on. That's only two. <laughs> We're talking about dick here. Look, it's very important to polish your dick, okay? You gotta keep your dick fully maintained. Polishing it makes it last longer. Stain it and then polish it, you're a lot better off. Okay, I think it's officially dark enough that I should just... <laughs> Very dark. I'm I'm not sure of the veracity of that statement, but I appreciate the sentiment. Vera sizes. So whiny. Oh. Keep getting my snorts and my waists mixed up. It's very confusing. Like very excited. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not going to be scary to build. There's no trees. I'm 
looking for some like flat ish areas. It's it's doing the lightning. Ick. <laughs> oh god. Now I'm like, but what if I just said it as like like the Schrodinger's cat sound effect with just like a very small percentage chance where it just says heck if someone says heck in chat Ugh. It was. It was. It was actually so well cooked. It was really difficult to eat. It was a baked potato, and I may or may not have crashed a lot while trying to eat this potato. No, no, I was definitely not numbing on a raw potato. What? With salt and pepper? God damn it! <sighs> My torch. I don't really say it that much, do I? Now I'm gonna overthink it like Vic did with... What's the phrase that... Bryn said Vic said... She said a lot. Hello? Excuse me? Sir? Is there a reason you had the door closed? I almost wore that today. Treasure hunter trader. Sorry, carry on. You're welcome. Yeah, I feel like the Schrodinger approach is just banging. That's what it was. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like I didn't say it that much, and then we were like, we hear it all the time. Well, actually... Yeah, the, the Schrodinger approach. Oh. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Back where if you spend all your points on the Sims oh. thing. 
You won't have any points for Schrodinger. I wonder if there's a way to make it so if it gives you the cat sound, it gives it like refunds the points. But then I would end up having to have a queue full of redemptions, which would be yeah. Yeah, I like I like the um, the the per small percentage thing because there's less chance of spam. Oh, there's some flat areas. <gasps> Dangin. Oh no, that's frustrating. How are you going to manage that? You're going to have to like feed them separately. I absolutely love how easy it is to give Daisy her medicine. Like, I, I can literally just drop her pill into a kibble. But I've, every time I do it, I shake the, the pill bottle and say it's a treat. So now she thinks it's like the best thing ever that she gets a treat. So she goes like straight for it. So I don't even have to wrap it in cheese or put it in peanut butter. She just, I drop it straight on her food and she just gobbles it down. She's such a good girl. I mean, yeah, gravy is the best part. Yeah, Flint, uh, Flint's mum's cat. I, uh, I got pretty good at doing the old burrito thing. I had to hand feed her and give her medicines for a few weeks. And that was exhausting, especially when she started getting her strength back because she was a very... She's a, uh, a ragdoll, but the least ragdollish ragdoll I have ever encountered. She did not like people or interaction or affection at all czar it's man our other dog, Donna, was so picky. You could, like, uh, you could do anything to try and hide the pill, and she would eat around it and spit the pill out. I ended up doing a thing where I basically, like, wrap Gretchen in a paper towel, and then kind of, like, I don't know, pull, I can't, I can't describe it without making it sound like I was abusing her, which I wasn't, but I'd basically, like, pull the skin taut around her her jaw which would make her like lick and then just pop it in but it was still risky and unpleasant for all of excuse me unpleasant for everyone concerned But that was just like a short time thing, not like long term, like you're having to deal with. That is such an interesting. Look at the color gradient there. That's really pretty.
You hate net? Yeah. I'm not a fan of them either, Beard. I'm sorry you woke up feeling groggy. I always feel so, like, thick tongued and. Bleh. after a nap. Really like that. That's a headland. Yeah, Flint is real, like, Flint is like the champion napper. I'll nap for half an hour and that's my sleep schedule, like, fucked up for a week. Yeah, but you, like, I think, like, with the, the physical exertion that you have as well, Ali, you're, especially when you first started that job, your body was just like, let me have the sleep. It's really cool. These gimp slips. It's pretty rare for me to sleep, have a nap. If I do, it's usually because I'm sick. But hi, Beard. Thanks for joining us. Or. Mm. Apparently, oh, this could be interesting. What you stayed up late playing games? Did you have fun? I hope you did. Oh, well, this looks like a likely. Oh. I guess not. Rip me, I guess. It's really hard resisting. Good. I don't even know if I'll be able to play it anymore. I, I didn't get into Hades for the longest time. I had a friend who streamed it from early access and it was really fun. Like I loved watching it and the characters and the music is so fucking good. Um, and eventually a friend was like, look, I'm just going to get it for you. <laughs> just play it. Um, try it and if you don't like it that's okay and I did and I think I basically ended up doing one of my stupid long streams because I didn't want to stop but uh, I think I'm just gonna hold off until it comes out of early access so that I'm not um, you know like burned out on it Oh, Luna, butterscotch beer. That sounds amazing. They were so sneaky, too. They just kind of like dropped it and were like, Ta da! I saw so many streamers who were like, well, there goes my plan for the day, slash week. They did, 
They didn't even do it, Sean. They just dropped it. It's really good. I don't think I've ever had a butterscotch beer before, but I try it. Oh, this is nice and pretty and green. Well, this area up here, whoopsie. It's potential. There's a trader up there too. All right, let's go check up there. Yeah. Oh, look. No. I'm sorry. No. Because you know what happened? I, mm, yes, possibly. But the problem is the last time I went near one of those, there was a tunnel and I went in it and there were scary things and I nearly pooped myself. Uh, so I'm good. Thanks. Apparently when I loaded up the single player game, it had a saw or something in there. When I loaded up the single player game, it didn't put primitive survival or better ruins or the food one on there. And I was just like, why am I not seeing any like interesting ruins? It didn't occur to me to check until Toast asked something about primitive survival and I was like, oh. Heck! Thankfully I hadn't explored much. Sneak! Oh, Sneak! And and so now I've got enough copper to make a hammer and a pick. On me. And I think I have enough tin to make an ingot. But I'm trying to find like the spot. The spot where I want to build before I start messing around with smithing. So it took like two hours to get my copper sorted and I've spent the last three hours swimming around. This is looking an awful lot like the area where I was at last time. Man, I kind of feel like a beer now. Everyone makes me want to drink. Like, not like that. Sounded mean. That's not what I meant. We have an ad break coming up soon. The problem is I just associate the redwoods with like heavy rainfall now. So I think they're really pretty. But 
I don't want to deal with the sound of the rain incessantly on the glass. I need a treat now. I need some more cinnamon toast. With the ginger preserve. Croissant. I don't have any croissant. Well, this is interesting. This little spot. Maybe? Oh, hey, there's a fruit tree. Not fast with the hills there, though. I can make some more cinnamon raisin toast with. I hear bees. Oh, what if? I don't have to yell. They really are. What if I... I don't know if I'm going to get three pieces of beeswax from one hive. But what if I, like, smash some beehives so I can make a wooden lantern? I know it's probably a bad idea. Oh shit, all right. I'm sorry guys. I got away with that too easily. Okay, so now I need a bowl. Oh, never mind. The bees are still there. The bees are mad. Oh my god, look at the fireflies. We're just going to give the bees a bit of distance. I'm going to go this way. Oh, there's some more lobster mushrooms. Another one. What? Look, it's right there. Found some really pretty spots. Like, even, like, where I started on this map was really pretty. I just... I traveled a fair amount before... Whoa! Look at all these mushrooms! Um... Before... I realized that Better Ruins was on, so I was just like, oh, I'll just travel. And maybe I'll find... Somewhere better. <laughs> and we've been traveling for days. I've got I got three peanut seeds. And I have some copper and tin. So I just have to stop and build a place. And 
And I know it doesn't have to be permanent. Maybe I should just stop here. Oh, shit. All right. I'm going to take a break uh, and, and stretch. Enjoy the sunrise. I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
So, uh, apparently that's, uh, it was the sunset, not sunrise, that I was leaving you with. I have to go make toast. Fired some toast. Oh, look at the fireflies! Toast with ginger preserves. Quite delicious. Oh my god, this would be amazing on crumpets. Let's set up temporary shop here. It's still warm. We've access to a bunch of different trees and water. And there's a bear! Hey, buddy! Coder, Coder is here. Stream can start now. Hello there. Hi. Hello. This is Sadie, aka Saturday86. This is a reminder for you to drink some water, eat some food, take your meds, and be kind to yourself. Yes, even you. Uh, yeah, it's 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 just it's basically Minecraft. Yeah. Hi, Soma. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 basically just for my mine, Minecraft, but for like noobs. Yeah, no, I've never played it before. This is my first time. Hi, Carter. Hi, Dal. Hi, Soma. Why am I saying hi, Dal? Thank you for the Maxwell invasion. Hi, Ali. Hi, Molly. Hi, Toast. Hi, Dal. <laughs> hi. Hello. Now I am reminded of that <clears throat> the fish tank scene from Monty Python's Meaning of Life. Morning, 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 morning. <laughs> Every everyone's here. Oh, that looks like a bad place to go. I think I can hear more bees. Ah, fuck. Oh, there you go. Good job. Now, now you've finished your bit. There's definitely bees there. And a egg from Pocket Dell. Yeah, I need to make a an Android app. That's just a big red button that says heck. The problem is when I record my voice, it doesn't sound the same. According to Coder. Hey, 
and me. I mean, that's easy enough to pull out, pull the audio out of. Um, no, nobody raided. Ravy got a couple of really good clips. Um, a little while ago, including one of me singing, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, that one. Yeah. Imagine you have... It sounds like the start oh, of a, fuck. a math problem. Imagine you have five planks. Jeremy steals four planks. How many do you have? The answer is five, because you chased Jeremy and you beat the shit out of him with the one plank you remain that you have left, and then you take them all back. Okay, so maybe there will be violence today. I forgot you can do that. Jeremy doesn't steal planks anymore. Jeremy doesn't steal planks anymore. I'm like, why am I hearing my own voice? What is going on? Totally forgot that that was a thing. He's been taught a lesson. Yeah, totally, totally not. Not this time. Not this time, Ravi. Yeah, no, everyone was just, um, doing the greeting thing with you, Carter. All right, let's, um, Let's build right here. I followed someone called Totes My Goats on Twitch for a while. She had goats. And made really nice handmade soap. Just it's like one of those people, you know, it's like some streamers just sort of like fade away when IRL stuff takes over and then you just never see them again. It always makes me really sad. It made me heck and sad. Also, I think I've got fleas. Okay, oh, actually, so. Okay, Ravi. What if I build back here and then I can put my guard in there? Let's do that. Yeah, but you're dealing with health issues and you haven't vanished entirely. It's not like you've ghosted everyone. You're, you know. You're here, or I'm imagining that you're here. Which could be a thing. I, I, I don't know. I mean, really? I don't know. It it does. <clears throat> Everything is totally fine.
this is... Quite large. Wait. <gasps> Sword button? I'm not crashing servers. And besides, I don't have any glass bottles. I think... I think Drax managed to do it the other day. I thought... I thought I saw something about that in the chat log, so I'm not sure. I like sorting things, okay? I also like sorting buttons. The skylight. is it called oh <laughs> all right well i don't want to say anything but uh we've been talking Get an echo from your pocket to, from your pocket Dell. That's another feature that's actually a premium feature. But uh you just had a free a free sample. <laughs> I mean it's it's fine. We're all friends here. All right. Now we have a house. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's yeah. Phrasing is definitely a thing. Ali forgot I was in her pocket. I feel like that's streamer abuse. So, Soma, no, not even a little bit. I, or, or Freudian slips, yeah. <laughs> I, oh. No idea. Okay. I know, they're noisy. Alright, so I need, um... Balls.
Apparently I've forgotten how to do this properly. Ugh! Oh, no, what are you doing? And what else do I need? I need bowls so I can get the honey, right? Ruby would never. Mm, mm, mm. Crucible. No. Yeah, Dell. It is good to let Dell breathe sometimes. Yeah, and to stretch and hydrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, otherwise I wilt. Yeah. It'll be good if we get that finished up in time for anniversary week. Yeah, come on, Ravy. We're relying on you. I mean, we're not. Please don't feel stressed about that. Oh, you know what? X skills isn't on here either. I was ex expecting that we would have some of that today because it's been like really hot. Oh no, that's gonna be a- let's not do that there. Let's not make the front door where I can walk right into fire. Oh my gosh, I would love that so much.
Poor baby, though. <sighs> my, um, my green dad's art shared. It didn't, wasn't so much a, a skylight as it was like an angled window that um, was like one entire size. I think I've tried to recreate it in The Sims, but it was amazing to sit in there during storms. All right. Oh, I would love that so much. Oh, you know what? I need a cooking pot. Oh. That is a, that's a good question, Ravi. And this ginger spread is so good. It's a ginger preserve, like a jelly, and it is so delicious. It's like if a ginger cookie was was jam. It never happens. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm -mm. I would. Jeez. 
All right. Time to get some more steaks. Hey. Grass fist. Bean steaks. Yeah, steak. I really was far too pleased with myself for making a sticky moat. Apparently I'm hungry. I guess I can eat something or whatever. The good news is that Opera, apparently the ad blocker works an opera on YouTube. Oh god, Sneeps. <laughs> oh boo. Be safe. Oh. I know we've got like he uh Record highs coming up this week. It's not even summer, and it was like 96 today. Oh my god, it sounds amazing. Flint's, um, Flint's mum got me a ball. Like one of those, uh, grass. One of those ones that has like the inflatable, like an above ground pool that has the inflatable rim on it. And we've always been like a bit sort of like, eh, about getting one because it's, you know, it's quite a lot of work to maintain. But now that we've, now that we've got one, I'm all gung-ho to get down to like the pool shop and talk to them about like suppliers and chemicals and shit so that I can then take their advice that they give me for free and, and use it online for nefarious things. I'm... I can't help but think like ending stream in in the summer and uh like it's going to sit in the pool. It's like a, a ten foot wide one, but it's like two and a half feet deep, so it's not a big pool. It only holds <laughs> Oh my god. No. Or I could sit in there fully dressed and we could do a, a hot tub stream that way. And drink tea. Actually, that would be pretty fucking funny. Oh. Just seems like it'd be really nice, though, to.
try and like relax and like spend less time in front of my computer as well. Uh, hello? I need some sticks. I wonder how mad I would make people if I did a hot tub stream, hot tub and swim po swimming pool stream. Fully clothed. The ultimate bait and switch. That is a good point. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm just being a sassy pants at this point. Oh no, I think I almost started a fire then. It's weird, actually, Ravi, because it doesn't matter where I get my pants from, they all seem to be sassy pants. It's, it's amazing, actually. I don't know how that works. I guess I just have an eye for it. We do have the setup to do an outside stream. I'm going to um, renew our fishing license this month. And then we we're gonna gonna get back to doing our fishing streams, which I'm quite looking forward to. But we'll be doing them on a a separate channel. I probably need to set up a command for that or something. But yeah, we had to had to wait because Flynn's fishing license is really cheap. But mine? Because I'm a foreigner? Is not cheap. Jerks. Mine is like four times what his cost yeah it's like 30 bucks for his and 130 I think for mine as a, a non-resident even though I have my names on bills and stuff here apparently it doesn't count so we had to wait. So that uh, the pirate sponsorship uh, that you guys helped with last month, that's uh, what's helping cover that. Well, given my fishing record, I hope, I, I think they're going to be disappointed. Or pleased, I guess. 
Because in all our fishing streams that we did last year, we caught one fish. Yeah, it's bizarre. And like, I, I understand the need for rules around this sort of thing, especially because it's with Florida being so coastal, there is a lot of shenanigans that goes on. But like, the, basically, I could go out without a fishing license, but I can't even touch anything to do with fishing paraphernalia when we're out. The second I even touch like the tackle box, I'm officially fish <laughs> officially fishing, uh, and therefore in breach of the rules. Because we were like, we could just, you know, not worry about it. And it's like, eh. Yeah, it is. It's official. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They could even just have, have chocolate fish. And, and you still, it's not allowed. State of Florida. This is totally fine. I'm just lighting a fire in my house. A multiple fires in my house. But that said, you know, like the they I, I don't know i'm assuming they do good things with the money they raise from fishing licenses <laughs> I, I, um but it does <laughs> maybe maybe but it does mean that once we get the fishing license i want to get our values worth out of it so flynn's got the phone we've got a year's worth of like phone uh, with unlimited data we get the fishing license it means we can do fishing streams i know some of you joined us for the fishing streams basically uh we just sit there at pretty spots and pretend to fish um but we're actually setting it up so that uh it'll be streamed on this channel here that i'm just shouting out um which we'll be using for fishing and for like uh when we do go to the zoo or we go for you know like adventures to the park we're gonna use that channel so uh make sure you follow us there we separated it so that because it's different from the gaming and it's a shared channel between us. All right, I have set fire to things. I'm so good at this game. In theory, yeah, hypothetically speaking. Well, <laughs> thank you, Ravi. Yeah. Like, it doesn't bother fishing licensing, it doesn't, you know, like, Echo messes with everyone, that's what they do. They ravvy. I don't mind too much, it's just weird that there's such a, an increase for a non-resident. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Um, okay. Oh, I need to find food again. Well, la di da. Echo is a nice person. Oh, look, it's not that bad. I'm just a little bit hungry. I probably should have, you know, got some food before, before it got dark. 
Oh, oh is it mature? No. I wish I were a little bit smart. Hello, berries! Oh, I need to get some fish traps down. That wouldn't help me immediately. Uh. Wait. Uh. Look. Oh, I have peanuts on me. Like, right. A tiny sliver of hunger is back. I can just go back to my house now. Right? No. Um, you need to find more food. But yeah, that'll be starting up soon. Um, because when we were doing it last time, we were kind of we were streaming it to my channel and using Restream to send it to Flint's channel too. <laughs> Ollie! Here you are. That's one of the reasons we love you. But yeah, doing the Restream thing, and it, it was like splitting our viewers and... It's not, it wasn't great for our CCV as well because the, the outdoor streams were fun, but, you know, only a few people would tune in. So if we keep it separated, it just keeps everything a bit tidier. Horse tail. Isn't there a Twister 2? Or are they working on a Twister 2 now? With Helen Hunt still? Or did I make that up on my head? Oh, it's a reboot? Mmm. these berry bushes and there's no berries on them nary a termite mound in sight oh oh Fuck you! We got cows! It was funny how that was like... Kicked off a whole genre of like disaster movies. A wave of disaster movies. Um, I don't remember the soundtrack. Tallulah from the old uh, ah, what was it? Bugsy Malone. Ooh, 
I do like Tori Amos. Alexi Malone was like uh Jody Foster is a child, like it was a bunch of actors as little ones. It was very cute. And uh Jodie Foster's character is named Tulula, and there's like a cute little song that she sings introducing herself. <coughs> Seems very intentional. Did I do that? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, is that? Fresh water or salt water there? Oh no, I just realized I'm gonna have to remember bunnies! There's rabbits here, so I'm going to have to be mindful of rabbits trying to steal my crop. Oh, look, we've got some maple trees. We should just plant these. I was thinking about Tori Amos a while back. No, not about a few days ago, I was like, I should dig out some. Remember, there was a case, the song "Case of You," I just really loved. No, there's a house here. Daylight, let's get some more berries. Should trim those cattails for storage, too. Ooh, turnips. To chop some trees too. So I'm hoping that we might be able to get a vintage story server. 
the stream that we'll put have in in what I call gentle mode. So, you know, like no aggressive critters, basically, so that we can play uh, and, and not have to worry about things trying to eat our face and stuff. I, I I guess <laughs> Hey Thank you for the follow Um, and then I'll have that access to that will be via Patreon or uh, like I said before I'm switching I think I'm I've set up similar thing to Patreon on fourth wall which allows adding merch discounts like automatically um and then you get sub discounts on them as well. Oh, hey, bad time. So we'll probably limit it that way. Um, once it finally kicks off, people I think oh, will grandfather some people in from the Project Zomboy server though. Is an it break? So I should take a break. Hi, ghost. Okay. Um. Okay, let's chop down a tree. I thought I've got a fancy copper. Oh man. Are these are these it's like these are all walnut and oak trees. It doesn't feel right making a uh, a fence out of walnut. Got maple. Horse. Right there. Carrots? Perfect. I was like, there's something I need to do if I plant here. What is it? Oh. I gotta protect from bunnies. Must protect from bunnies. Can I make? Uh, let's see if that works. <laughs> yeah, look, see, there's a bunny right there already waiting to. Get into my garden. One more will do it. Alright, 
so now we need to make oh actually i need to block it at the bottom look see that rabbit's like checking it out rabbit's like i know what you're doing This is all so much less stressful than the first time I played this and I was panicking about everything. <laughs> so much panic. Now I'm just like, yeah, but that's it. I changed the server settings, so. Erickson. So once you've walked over it, it's compressed, I guess. I feel like if I do what I want to do there, I'm going to end up setting them all on fire. Um... I, yeah, because I can't, um, I can't hoe them when they're in that state. Doesn't let me do it. That's a, a mod that I have that does nothing. So I'm curious now if uh right now. I don't know. Why are you asking all the hard questions? Something to do with like wilderness paths or wilderness trails or something. Natural trails mod. I think. What? There? It's just looking at it now. Oh, 
That's weird. All right, so we've got some stuff planted. And there should be watering itself, hopefully protected. Thing is cross. It's a really neat mod. I mean, there might be a setting in there that I just haven't noticed. On to go. Seven hours. Hmm. Sort button. Get some reeds cut for a basket. It, yeah, it does. If I dig it up and then place it. But I think you have to... It seems like you have to like stomp on it uh, near a mount for it to convert. And I think it may only be blocks that you place. So if you put it down and then step, step on it, I think. I'm not sure, but it seems like it's a pen because I've not seen it appear. You know, just like on one of these blocks. Oh, no, never mind. You've got to cross it a few times, I guess. Interesting. I wonder if you can disable that. Oh, that might be nice to have then. Looks like it's like three or four crossings. Is it just like an XML thing or a JSON file? I can probably figure that one out. Yeah, Drex was asking about the recovery time. I think he was interested in... I don't think I have enough. Wait, how do I do this again? More. That's how I do it. More. I think it's an interesting idea for a mod, though.
Oh, hey. There's copper light -like right here. Well, ain't that handy dandy. Here we go. That was a process. It's, I know, it kind of, it's kind of interesting though, because you can see where I've been running, which is, I guess, you know, one of the things about it there. I literally put the the link in there. Okay. Hate the sound. Oh, I can that's good. Okay. Oh, there we go. So it's pretty customizable then. Siri, I'm glad that you fucking love tartar sauce. How do I get to the config file? I do. It's a it's a good first comment. Thank you. Oh, each level of path actually provides a movement speed bonus. Didn't know that. I just got it because it looked interesting. Is it just a... It is, oh, it's a JSON file, is it? I'm trying to see about how to change the settings on this. Um, okay, so we're waiting for all this shit to finish. And then I can make... These wax. So I can make a candle and have a lamp. Thank you. So let's go find some... Oh, wait, 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 wait. How to fish trap. Here. Portage and sticks. Vines. Vines. Cattails. Fucking hate cattails. I don't, I don't know why I have such an issue with them. But there's a bunch of vines out here.
All right. How much do I need for a trip? Four. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So good. Steams. All right. Ow. My bread just started pinching. Okay. Fish basket. Uh, here, have some grain. All right, we're gonna catch so many fish. That's gonna be amazing. I mean, we're probably not. Okay, so we... no. This this is one of those ones where it's fine, and I don't know if maybe it just gets twisted in the wash, but sometimes it's fine, and sometimes it just pinches and stabs everywhere, and I fucking hate it. Eesh. There's no fish in there yet. I didn't think to check whether this is fresh water, but I'm assuming it's fine. Now you want fish tomorrow? Do it. I really wanted to put something in there. But I think if I put fencing in there, it's probably just going to get set on fire. No, like in the windows, I was going to use the fencing as windows, but I'm pretty sure the, that it'll get set on fire. See? Now my windows are on fire. And now I... Yeah, I clearly need more fire in my fire. That, that is the problem. Speaking of which, I need to stick some more firewood near the fire. It, it'll be fine. My favorite thing to have with fish, well, it actually depends on how the fish is cooked, but if it's like fish and chips, vinegar, I absolutely love vinegar. I'll take vinegar over lemon juice any day. Need to find some more food. Hello? Fish. Yeah, 
け enjoys that too. like a perch. More fire. I clearly need more fire in my house. One can never have too much fire. Uh. Well, may, 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 maybe. Honestly, I don't know. I've tried fish and chips in three countries and it's all kind of the same. <laughs> like, the fish and chips you get in a pub here aren't really that different to fish and chips you get in a pub in England. The only difference I would say is if you go to an actual fish and chip shop. But even then it's still not that different. It is. Also, my coffee is broken. <laughs> you can do Ooh, Oh, oh. Things are finished cooking. I'm just gonna eat the whole fish. Delicious. It is, yeah, with with a pint of beer, there is something to be said for pub meals. For sure. Even if it's not like a fancy pub. Honestly, the fancy pubs aren't they great? Hey. Hey! Stop it. I know. How dear my coffee be broken? What the actual fuck?
it is in the way there. All right, first of all, often. I think I might tweak the mod settings, but I'm also kind of interested to see what it's like being played as as it was intended, I guess. Oh, oh, you're trying to trick me. I see your game. So I, I might get rid of the sound effect. Three more. Okay. So, squeeze out over a bucket or bowl. I have suspicions about this. Oh, it's working. All right, never mind, we good. not fill from a bowl? It's not. Oh wait, like this? Never mind, I just tipped it all on the ground. Problem sources. It's fine. go oh right there all right so wooden lantern is oh it's planks why did i i feel like something i could do End of the dead. Yeah, no, I'm good. Scribe table. I do like that you can do that. All right. So uh, I'm just gonna put. Oh wait, put this. Is that 
gonna be fine. That's totally not gonna be a safety hazard. A safety hazard at all. All right, so now I need to get some more sticks and some rope. Me do this. I feel like that may not have been a smart idea. Oh, wait, I can split that. Maybe. There we go. Fish stew. Excuse me. and sneebses. <laughs> it's fine. It'll buff out. Oh, my eyeballs. <sighs> ah! I don't mean to do that. All right, so we're looking for sticks, and then I need to get some more vines to make tongs. Rope. Is it just one piece of rope? It is. It's just so much faster than cutting cattails. Oh. Someone ate the bunny. What? More sticks. Right, so there goes the air. there. Ow. Okay. 
I'm going to have to build a tool shop as well. It's very dark. All right, so heat that up and fill them in. Perhaps I'm gonna use This is such a different experience to when I played last time. For my first time, which wasn't that long ago, really. Oh, look, it's already doing it. The when you've got the the tongs in your arm, every now and then it like comes across the screen and it looks like insect parts and it's creepy. Kind of neat seeing the smoke pooling in there. Taken forever. Okay, we're making process progress. I <sighs> I shouldn't have used the full amount. Fuck. Fuck. Boop. Fine. It's gonna work, is it? So eighty six units. Uh. Wild human. What is that, Siri? Oh no, I did see- I saw you had to end stream. Oh, it's from Bandasaur. I saw you had to end stream early. We're doing alright. We're just- we're playing in gentle mode, so like, no... No hostility. Just... Explore.
three units of copper. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It's a shame. It's frustrating. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I didn't know because he's like, no way to put it. Hey, mud. It is super serial secret door. Super secret. No one would ever know that someone lived here. Oh. Okay. Garden planted. Got the fixings coming up for copper tools. How's my fish trap? The fish. Oh, and a starfish. Hey! Hey! Hi, Ed. Hey, Chad. Good night. Play pretty. Play pretty. Uh, pie. The putty is played. Wait, that only gave me one piece of fish. That's bullshit. Well, thank you for the raid. I hope you had fun. Hey! Thanks to a patchwork turtle for my sub gift. It's a year! It's... It's a whole year! Wait. Thank you, Point Point. Um... Oh, it was like a potception. I'd pick a color. Oh, welcome in everyone who came over with Pud Pud. Um, hi, I'm Del Jaleria. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm playing a uh, vintage story. I do other things, but I can't word right now. I've forgotten how to word. What says purple? Okay. Yeah. Writing this down right now. Right meow. Good. Purple. Done. I need food. I don't know why that harvested. That. <gasps> oh yeah, copper. All right, we're gonna go look for mushrooms and other foods. Oh, oh, actually, that's kind of not a bad spot with the redwoods right there, because once I need a lot of firewood, 
I could just chop down an entire fucking tree. You're a good mushroom. I'm working on it. Chill. Oh, I know these ones are good. Oh, hmm. That's not going to be a good mushroom. See? Mine is 10. We don't want that. Oh, that's cool. The game is mad at me. We get some pretty neat looking mushrooms in our path and I'm pretty sure a couple of them are edible. Um, okay. Hey, no, oh, they give me extra. Nine and nine, fiddle. Choo choo. You I could just head to the swamp for mushrooms. Swamp mushrooms. They're delicious. Red bud tree. I don't know what a red bud tree is. That is pretty exciting. I wonder... We have, um, prickly pear in our yard, and when it fruits, it's so delicious. Oh, look, just chill out, would you? And we have low quartz as well, which I'm I'm not fond of, but I was surprised how many plants that are classified as weeds are actually edible and full of deliciousness and healthfulness. Okay, I got tired of the tooting. Six servings of almond mushroom indigo milk cap stew. Sugar berry tree. Not heard of that either. But yeah, it's true. And then you get the silly, like the silliness of like city councils getting mad about people planting vegetable gardens in their front yards. 
thankfully they don't do that here but i've do i've seen plenty of stories where people have built like really pretty veggie gardens and cities kind of got back to them no i don't know that either <laughs> One of the things that, uh, I, I guess it's a privilege of growing up in New Zealand is that there's always this awareness that you could just go bush, like you basically just head into the forest and, you know, it doesn't take too much effort to try and find things that you can eat. They might not be super delicious, but you can find things. Like, it just seems like so much work, but I could just... Like, fern fronds. That's a thing. I, think they, I can't remember, I think it's called Pico Pico back home. But basically like the new fern fronds when they're still all like lime green and curled up they taste like asparagus they go real they're really nice on uh soda bread like if you make like campfire bread you put the pico pico on top and then there's like uh watercress type i think it's called a watercress uh like puha which you find in most waterways. All right. So now we've got some food there. It's not going to last very long, but it's food. It's 27 degrees here in spring, so it might get too hot here for things to grow. All right, we have. It's a crab. Oh, Mal. Crab bite. Ow. Oh, crab is fucking me up. Okay. I'll let you go, Mr. Crab. Just this once. Yeah. Crab bite back. If you stab the crab, the crab stepped back. Oh, copper. Um... You pick it up from behind. That's with the crabby, you get the stabby. It's true. Facts. I don't have an oven yet, so there's not much point. Oh. I don't have a sling either, but hello, you're going to be dinner one day. Hey, when I grow up. How much did that get? 16. 80 copper. Ooh, that might be enough to finish off. God. Um, that will be.
Or is it water? That is bees. Oh, we have ads starting in uh, less than 30 seconds. So, if you haven't taken a break recently, please do that. I would appreciate it. Oh. Partially eaten. Oh, you might still have some food on you then. Looks like meat's back on the menu. Hmm. Half funny. Waste not, what not. I know there's a bear around here. Oh, here we go. Picture. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh. Uh, I'd have been that hungry if you left half a rabbit behind. Days. I'm not going to pick that one because it's on its flowering cycle. I mean, they're like fish in a barrel. I do. It's called fire. Can I put my... Have good sleeps. Three pieces of fish. Ooh. A little bit of scavengy scavenge. Okay, Ravi, have a good sleep. Hope you wake up feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed and can hear good. contrast and color on that shale. Actually really pretty. Oh, that did mark lead. That's just, that's just flint. That's not that weird. I was like, not 
particularly full of energy today. I definitely had a fork stuck in the spoon drawer, stopping me from opening the spoon drawer properly. And yet somehow, oh, seven hours of stream has gone by in a flash. Are you? Yeah, no, you are. You're mine. What about you? Honey? Yeah. I'm not gonna fuck with the rams because they, um, they hurt. Yes. Oh, what did I do that for? That was dumb. Okay. We'll definitely be <laughs> using that, I think, for anniversary stream. I've changed my, um, my, my feelings on anniversary stream week. Because I decided I was expecting too much for myself. So instead of doing 20th and 21st, which is the Monday to Tuesday, I'm going to do 18th to the 19th. So that's Saturday night to Sunday night. I think that'll be more comfy and uh, give me a bit of time for recovery. Yeah. Because as much as I like the idea of doing a full week, I don't think that's going to work well. at all. Am I going the right way? Oh yes. Look at all them berries! Oh! Man, I love me some storms. Falling asleep to thunderstorms, but not when there's a tornado warning. Then I can't sleep. Then I'm like, have I got my grow bag? Do I have my sensible shoes right next to the bed? Maybe I should just go to sleep with my sensible shoes on. I get really fixated on sensible shoes. Like, super fixated on sensible shoes. Yeah. And I, I start panicking. Like I basically, I have a, a bag that's like in perpetual state of readiness that has like copies of our birth certificates, our marriage certificates, like yeah, it, yeah, a bug out cat. It's got like utility bills showing that that's our addresses. Um, it's got a couple of like keepsakes and photos and it's like just a permanent backpack that's just like ready to go.
My turnips are unhappy. That's good. We don't have... Uh, tornado sirens here. Yeah, they do. Definitely. My knife is about to break again. We've we've had recently we've had quite a few tornado warnings, like more than when I first moved here. Um there's never been any like super close. Well, I mean not since I've been here, but there's definitely been some where it's been like uh, a little, you know, like 10, 50 miles down the road, which, you know, is pretty fucking close. And of course, you can't have uh, tor tornado sh uh, basements aren't really a thing here. You know, with the whole holy ground thing. Not religious, but sinkhole, super rare. The closet? <laughs> All these years trying to get out of it, and now you gotta get back in. Yeah, ours, I mean, the <laughs> I tan see wait, didn't we just raid into you from Flint? <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome in. Hi Aaron. Hi Knights, how you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. I'm pretty sure <laughs> my 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 partner just raided into you. Hi Mango. I'm a raider. <laughs> I'm raiding myself. Uh, welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. I hope you all had a wonderful evening. What were you chatting about? Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome in. I'm Del or Deliria. My pronouns are she, her. And I'm. we're just talking about tornadoes <laughs> while I play Vintage Story. Just, you know. Casual naturiness while I look around and find out. Yes, so this actually started off... Oh, you have strep throat? Ah, shit. Hopefully you recover from that fast. That is no fun. But hooray for democracy! Um, so this actually started off as a mod pack for Minecraft, but it has since forked off and become its own legally distinct game. Um... It is very, it's, it's more survival focused than Minecraft, um, but they are both very fun games. Uh, a few months? I just started like a new game today in like peaceful mode just because having a, a low... Yeah, exactly. Voxel based diggy diggy hole. Um, having, a, having a low spoons day, so we went for, for easy games. Um, but yeah, please, Knight, if you if you need to go and take care of yourself and, you know, get cozy and take your medicine and rest, please, please do that. 
I know how much it take, streaming take, can take out of you anyway, let alone when you're sick as well. So please, please do some self-care. You're allowed to lurk. I'm not saying you can't lurk, but I want you to take care of yourself. What am I, I don't even know what I'm doing. But yeah, this is pretty early on in the game. That sounds like a really good idea. Good job. Um, so we've got... What have I done? How do I even process that now? Soak in lime water or... Oh, fuck. I forgot they did that. Urgh. Urgh. What have I got? I've got some fish and some rabbit. Knife. Oh, what's that? Fish eggs. Wait, are they... No, they're no good. I don't care. Um, so one of the neat things about Vintage Story is that you can chisel. I haven't got to that point in this game, but instead of being stuck with everything being, you know, like a big block, um, you can chisel, I think it's into 64th. Um, so basically per little teeny tiny voxel, you can like, carve out like you know, four of the pixels at a time so you can get some really detailed really pretty buildings going with it hey Okay, so we've got two meat. Do that. Uh, two turnips. Can I put anything else in here? Can I put some black currants in here? Wait, I can. Two servings of red meat fish stew with boiled turnip and black currants. That sounds fucking awful. Yum. It's just going to end up going off. Need to pull that out. Um. I can't make storage vessels out of this. Oh, yes, I can. So this is kind of a demonstration of the voxel system. Um, kind of the opposite of the chiseling where I'm using clay to create a, a shape, which I'll then fire. Um, and it'll become a storage container. Um, so there's, which you can use for food preservation. Um, so you've got to take into account food, the air temperature and exposure to sunlight and stuff. oven is stopped. Oops.
the um, movement of that vine over the front door, I keep on thinking there's something out there other than the vine, the front door. A very good sound effect. So now I have to... A hole. Oh, wait, food. Dang. That filled me up real good. Okay, Ollie, have a good sleep. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for uh, keeping me in your pocket. Thank you. Good slips. Pocket Dell, yeah. It's like a poly pocket, but with more expletives. Even I don't think that's gonna be enough. Like I think this will do as a temporary spot, but we may need to move further N north. Oh, well, I don't know actually now. Because we're kind of, and we went all the place on the equal. <laughs> Thank you. What's on your pocket? Oh, it's fireflies. So I don't have any fixed plans for this week. Um, but this is comfy, so we may way too close or not. We may carry on with this tomorrow, possibly. But I actually think, I just realized it's almost midnight and I'm 
really, really tired. Um, so I know we just had a ray. I, you know, uh, I think we need to, to call it there too. I do appreciate the raid very much though. I'm gonna push the stop raids button, but I keep forgetting about it. Uh, how do I do this again? Right. Do we have... If there's anyone else that we know in this category. Very quiet today, huh? Wait, they're live again. All right, we're going to raid into... V's uh, channel? I'm not entirely sure how to say their name. Uh, but they actually rated us earlier uh, from within Vintage Story. Um, so I'm going to send you back over there. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow from 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some more oomph and enthusiasm. Um, I'll protest, I think. I think they might be writing, working on a mod. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what they're doing. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all hanging out with me today. <laughs> bye, back. Hi. Bye. Thank you. Um, here, here's the ray calls if you would like to copy and paste either one of those. There's one for subs and one for non-subs. Uh, there's me on social media if you would like to follow me there it's very riveting stuff i i don't really post a lot to be honest <laughs> um and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon i don't know if i forgot anything I'm pretty sure i've forgotten anything i don't know but we're probably just gonna keep on doing this because it's comfy Comfy and soothing, and I like it. All right, I'm going to shut up now. You guys all have a wonderful evening. Why not? I hope your internet chills the hell out for you. Because it's so frustrating. Um, And I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye.